Hello folks, this is Ted White and today I'm going to show you how to duck under text in CapCut PC and put text in its place. Let's check it out. Alright folks, so the first thing we want to do is import the file that we're going to be doing the editing on and the file I'll be doing the editing on is this one right here. So I'm going to click open. I'm going to add the track to the timeline and then I'm going to go down to the track right click it make sure it's highlighted and go to copy and then i'm going to right click above it and select paste and then from there i'm going to make sure that this track is highlighted i'm going to go up underneath video beside basic there's remove bg it might be cut out or auto cut out for you i'm going to select auto removal uh, and it is a paid feature in my version of Kafka. Uh, this will take a moment. I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so this is auto cutout has been completed. Our next step is to go up to text. So I will click on text here. And then what I will do is drag default text down in between the two video clips. There'll be a blue horizontal line. Uh, in between the two clips and then you just release it at that point once you see that horizontal line and I will expand the text to be the same size the same length as the uh, video clips and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the top video clip here and that'll make the text go in front of me because uh, I want to be able to see the text for what we're about to do next uh, first things off, I'm going to change the text to text. You can put it to whatever you want. Um, I'm going to change the color to blue. I'm just going to move myself here first and then change it to blue. And then I will click off that and move myself back. Okay. And what I will do is... I will go back, make sure text is highlighted, and then I will, sorry, click down here, and I've got to change the font to Anton, which is a bold font, and I'm also going to click bold, just to make it a little bolder. Okay, so that's probably plenty big enough for what we're going to do today. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find a spot where what I want, I'm going to move the playhead here to the left, and I want air. So this is basically what I want right here, is I want space in between the top of my head and the bottom of the text, because uh, I want to be able to clear the text as I go forward and back. So let's take a look here. And here I went from back, back close to this door to forward close to the camera, okay? And you'll notice I do forward and back, forward and back um, as I do this video. So I cleared the text here. I cleared it there. I clear it there by a little bit. And I clear it here by a little bit. Okay, so we're good. So what we can do next is we want to take it right about here. So we want it, so we're in the down position and we're cleared uh, by any amount. As long as we're clear, there's space in between the top of my hat and the bottom of the text. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to split the video clips not the text clip, but the video clips and both of them. So at this playhead position right here, I'm going to split both clips, this one and that one. So this one's highlighted. I'm going to split it. And then I'm going to split this one as well. And then I'm going to scroll to and then I'm going to split it again when I'm cleared. Okay. So I'm cleared there. I'm going to split this one 
and then I'm going to highlight the top one and split that one at that location. And then I'm going to see when I'm cleared again. So I'm barely cleared, but I'm cleared. So I'm going to split this one. And then I'm going to go down and split this video clip at the same playhead location. And then I'm going to go forward one more time and split and split both video locations here okay uh, for the playhead so we have that done our next step is just pay attention to my body here so I move forward and backward forward and backward okay so what we want to do is actually delete the top clips that are backward. So I'm going to right click and hit delete to that. This one's forward. I'll leave that be. Right click and delete this back, this clip where I'm backwards. I'm forward, so I'll leave that one and right click this top one here and delete it because I'm backwards. Okay? So, one last step. We click on text, right click, create compound clip, and then what we're going to do is show the track because we hit it. We're going to show it, uh, the top track here, and this should be the finished product. So, let me just put this on full screen and we'll take a look. Okay, so that's a duck. There's another duck. And we're good to go. Okay, so I hope this tutorial helped you out. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.